There's been an offer floating around for the American Express Business Platinum card worth 250,000 membership rewards points. I was able to find and access this offer using a couple different methods, and I'm going to be showing you in this video how exactly you might be able to find it as well. Now this here is the American Express Biz... Wait, this is the personal card that I canceled. This is the American Express Business Platinum card, and I got approved, and I got the offer, and I'm going to be unboxing it later in this video. But for now, let me show you everything that you need to know about this card. Yep. That's right, you heard me correctly. You can find the 250,000 membership rewards points offer publicly right now if you take these few steps. But before we get into those steps, I want you to keep a couple things in mind if you're considering getting this card. So first of all, 250,000 membership rewards points is about $5,000 in travel. That can vary significantly depending on how you use your points, but that's a rough ballpark. Now, I want to remind you that that is $15,000 in spend over the span of three months. Warning, warning, do not get this card if you do not have a bunch of spend coming up or you have a really high income and you spend a lot anyway. Unfortunately, this card is $695 and that does not count towards the $15,000 in spend. So you definitely would like to strategize if you're considering getting this card. $15,000 in spend over three months is $5,000 per month. The average income uh, in the US, at least, is around $60,000, just random ballpark number. So after taxes and all that, that's about $4,000. Okay, off to a rough start. So where is your $4,000 going? It's going a lot of different places. You cannot put all $4,000 across credit card spend. So even if you're making a certain amount of money, you can't necessarily put that all through your American Express card. After taxes, 401k, loan, whatever expenses you may have month to month, say you make the average amount of money, um, that's gonna be around $3,000 net or whatever, which is less than the $5,000 that you need to spend on this card to hit this bonus. So it is a matter of fact that most people that will apply for this card you will overall be losing in savings. Now, I don't know the average income of somebody getting this card. That in mind, you need like a minimum income of like 50,000 to get uh, an American Express Platinum card, I believe. So maybe the average income of somebody getting this card is a lot higher, but that's just something to keep in mind if you're a normal, regular person like myself. You're probably going to be chipping into savings if you don't have a big expense coming up, or you don't make a lot of money. Anyway, um, yeah, plan some major expenses. You got a wedding, you're moving, you got a lot of travel coming up, um, you have a bunch of savings that you're planning on spending on some renovations or something like that. Plan for it. Please, please plan for it because you will be spending more than you want to if you're getting this card. I am moving soon and I also have a bunch of travel coming up soon, so I thought it was a perfect time to get this because there's other travel benefits that come with this card in addition to 250,000 membership rewards points. So if you go to the public offers right now, you will find 120,000 membership rewards points, most likely. Now you can get elevated offers if you're lucky and you're just poking around. Um, and the highest that you can get is 250,000, like I mentioned, at least I think so. Um, before it was 190,000, but 250,000 has recently emerged and it's amazing. Um, but more often than not, you're probably going to encounter the 120,000 membership rewards points offer. And as far as I know, there's no like direct link that will take you to the 250,000 membership rewards point offer. Anyways, so if you're interested in finding this offer, main reason why you clicked on this video, sorry it took so long, you're going to want to Google American Express Business Platinum. That was the first thing that I did. And then you're going to do that and it's going to be public uh, in your not incognito, and you're gonna see this at the bottom left probably, uh, minus the drawings. Anyways, that didn't work. The next thing you're going to want to do is try incognito. Control, Shift, N will take you incognito, see in red here, and you're going to find this offer, hopefully. So right now, as I'm making this video on April 10th, uh, 9 p.m., anyways, um, 
as I'm making this video, I tried doing this method uh, like five or 10 times and every time I did it, it came up with the 250,000 offer. I was trying to find screenshots of the other offers, but I couldn't because it was either 120,000 or 250,000. So I don't know if it's super prevalent right now or if I'm just in a good region or it knows that I would be beneficial to get give this card, they'd find it profitable, I don't know. Anyways. Another method you could try is doing another browser and then doing that with control shift and incognito mode. And then if that doesn't work, another thing you can try is switching your network. So I was interested in getting this card for the 190,000 offer and I've been searching for it. And I thought the 250,000 offer was not available for lay people or it was already gone. But the reason I wasn't able to find it was I kept searching on my work network. And as soon as I got back to my personal network, um, it was just everywhere. Um, when I was on my work network, I was only seeing the 120,000 offer even in incognito. So if you're not seeing it, try going to a different network. Try using a hotspot, try your home network, try at work, try anything, any network, McDonald's, Wi-Fi, anything. And if that doesn't work, you could try VPN or spoofing to big cities. I read somewhere that if you VPN to Dallas, if that's what that means, if you somehow show that your location is in like a big city like Dallas or I don't know, San Francisco or something, you have a higher likelihood of getting targeted with this offer and then you can apply. Yeah, so that pretty much summarizes all of the ways that you can try to trigger this offer. If you don't get lucky, try again the next day. That's what I would recommend doing um, because you don't want to miss out on another 60,000 membership rewards points. Before that, I was only seeing 190,000 um, at most, and recently I've been seeing 250,000 every day. Uh, it's unbelievable. So try to tackle that if you can and you can uh, afford to get this card. So contrary to intuition, American Express cards are actually pretty easy to get as long as you have a good credit score. Well, duh. So the thing with American Express is once you have a card with them, getting subsequent cards is super duper easy. You want to try to have around a 700 plus credit score, and that's what you want to have when applying for any you know good rewards card anyways. If you have plus one or so history credit history with American Express, there is a really high likelihood that you'll get approved for another card or a business card. And in my experience, in my research, I've seen that if you have a checking or savings account with a particular bank that you're trying to get approved for, looking at you, Bank of America, uh, you have a higher likelihood of getting approved for their credit cards. So that's something else you can do to increase your chances. Uh, you want to try to have a uh, high annual income if you can help for that. Um, I included my player two's income in my application, and I don't really know if that's allowed or not. I don't see why not. It's household income, right? Um, we share bank accounts. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I put that and it we got approved, so I'm not asking any more questions. Just uh, thought I'd throw that out there. There is also the American Express 1 and 5 rule, where if you've submitted an application in the past five days, it'll get automatically rejected. Um, and also... More importantly, you want to have a business for your business card, of course. What qualifies as a business? That's the big question in the credit card community. What qualifies as a business? If you're interested in getting business cards, how can you get one if you don't have a business? Um, as far as I'm concerned, or <laughs> as far as I know and I'm aware of and what a lot of people say, as long as you have some kind of um, some kind of work that generates some kind of profit that could be like resale. I don't know, go, go to Goodwill and buy something and resell it. Then you're, you have a business, uh, delivery stuff like DoorDash, even, even though you're working for DoorDash, right? You're your own delivery driver. You can get a business card for that reason. Uh, Kyler's DoorDash service or delivery service, and then just apply with that. That's not really what I did, but I'm sure that would work. Um, Anything that you anticipate making money off of, you can do that and put that on your application and say that you have a business. They don't really verify so much as far as I know, other than the most verification I've seen is that they'll call you or you'll call for reconsideration and then they'll just ask you and prod you about what your business is and then you could just you know, tell them about your business, right? Um, ideally, you want to have a business, but 
you know, just being honest. Anyways, um, so for business income, American Express, you do need an income, an estimated income of at least four digits, so a thousand dollars or greater. Other business credit cards like the Chase cards, I think City, uh, I don't know. Those ones, all you have to do, you, you can put zero and you could still get approved. And I'm sure it helps to have some anticipated revenue. But for American Express, you need to put at least four digits for your estimated revenue. Again, they haven't verified or they haven't had me verify for any of my other business cards that I have. The um, Wyndham uh, earner card, they've never asked me to verify any revenue that I've made from my business. Anyway, um, another thing with American Express is that it is super harmless to apply for a business card after you have a card with them, as it will always be a soft inquiry, at least in my experience and a lot of other people's experiences. So there's really low risk in trying to get this card. If you think you have the spend that you need to do to get the bonus on this card, it is really low risk if you already have an American Express card. Business cards do not show on your personal credit report. So if you had a lot of spend on a card, it won't really affect your credit super negatively. Um, and the other thing to keep in mind, uh, this happened to me when I applied for my business Blue Business Plus card, is that they asked to verify my income by linking the bank account I do business with. Um, that didn't go so well and I got denied, but I applied again like two weeks later and they were they didn't ask me again and they just approved me. So I don't know if you get that pop up and they don't like your bank account, you can always just try again later. Um, but yeah, it's important to know, or it's important to keep in mind with business cards that it is basically invisible credit. Um, and if you're trying to garden for the sake of chase 524, or you don't want any major reportings on your uh, credit report, then business cards are great because you won't, at least with American Express, you'll have no inquiry, which is fantastic. And you'll also not trigger any utilization and no account will show up on your credit report either. Invisible credit is great. Yeah, like I said, super harmless. So this is an example of me applying to the Blue Business Plus and then two weeks later I did it again and I got approved. So I should have my entire page of American Express application history here, or most of it rather. Um, I went a little crazy back in 2023, got rejected a bunch. Anyways, uh, come 2024, I applied for the business gold card. Um, I don't know why it's not showing on here. Anyways, um, I applied for the business gold card in January. And then you'll see here, 313, I applied for the blue business plus and it got canceled because I applied too soon. Uh, and then I applied two weeks later and I got approved. And then literally 10 days later, I got approved for the uh, American Express Platinum card. Not the personal, but the business. Um, so you can see I was going super aggressive with my applications and it didn't really matter because there wasn't any repercussions except for a soft inquiry. So you can honestly apply as much as you want, like once a week. Um, yeah, I, I got two business cards within 10 days and I got the gold card and uh, business gold card in January. So I've gotten three business cards in about four months. So just to give you a data point on velocity that you can have with them. If you'd like to pause and look at my personal credit history with American Express, just to get an idea if you'll get approved, if you're interested in getting this card, you can compare it to my data points. Um, but like I said, it is super duper low risk, so you don't need to think about it a whole bunch or a lot. You could just kind of go for it and see what happens. Uh, unless you don't have an American Express card. But if you have greater than a 700 credit score and you haven't opened a bunch of accounts, I'm sure American Express will approve you. If you're worried about pop-up jail, which is something that I've experienced and I was in pop-up jail for most of 2023, I had the blue cash every day in the Hilton Aspire cards um, active between the months of October and December of 2023. And I was spending on them uh, about 1500 a month between those months, um, between the two cards, maybe closer to 2000. Um, but I heard if, if you just spend a thousand dollars on them or so each month, you will eventually get out of pop-up jail. I didn't continuously check if I was out of pop-up jail, but I just tried for it in January with the business gold and I had success. 
So if you are in pop-up jail, spend on it for like three months, in my experience, and then you'll eventually get out of it. So here we are right now. I'm eating my own words. I'm not seeing the 250. Well, I opened it once and I'm seeing the 190,000 offer, but I was seeing the 250,000 offer just a moment ago. Take my word for it. But now we're going to go through the application process here. So just to give you an idea of what you need to do exactly to apply for an American Express business card. So your email address, that's straightforward. Legal business name, whatever you want to come up with. Have, have fun with it. Get creative. Business address. <clears throat> excuse me. Industry type. Uh, all that stuff. Just fill that stuff out. Choose something that is associated with your business. How long has your business been in business? Um, annual business revenue, you'll see if I put zero dollars or one dollar, it'll get mad because it's not four digits. So if I put a thousand, it'll be happy. And estimated monthly spend, I heard, I saw on Reddit do like 2000. And I'd say at least if you're gonna get the business platinum card, probably do higher, um, like 5,000. Um, they'll definitely you know, take your uh, annual income into mind and all that, which is uh, somewhere around here. Anyways, uh, tax ID, you're not going to need that if you're a sole proprietor, sole proprietorship. Yep. You're the owner and your personal information, your total annual income, your social security if you're a sole proprietor. Um, yeah, and do all that and then just hit submit application and you should be good to go. And they'll either deny you or approve you. And if you have an American Express card already, it'll be a soft pull and you'll have no problem. So let's get into the card itself. The 250,000 rewards points are amazing, but what do you do with the card after you get the points? Well, you can't always just cancel it after the first year. Keep in mind, you do wanna have it open for at least a full year before you consider canceling it or they can take back your rewards points and you'll be in trouble. So don't do that. Once you already paid for the card, might as well use it and take advantage of its benefits. So what are the benefits? The earning structure is pretty lame. You're going to get one and a half times everywhere on purchases of $5,000 or more. One and a half X on these specific categories related to business, which makes sense. One X everywhere else. And then you're also going to get five X on AMX travel, uh, hotels and flights. And there's no foreign transaction fees. Amazing. Other benefits include lounge access, which the list of lounges on the right here. Um, not going to go in super deep depth dive of all of the benefits, just going to try to gloss over them, hopefully. Uh, you're going to get access to Resi, which I'm not even sure what that, would, what that looks like or if that's even worth it. Uh, fine hotels and resorts in the hotel collection are super nice. I stayed at one in New York City. It was very nice. Um, AMX preferred access is... Concerts and events, you might get expedited line skipping ability. I went to go see Noah Khan at the Budweiser stage last year, and we got to skip the line with my American Express Platinum card. Although I think you still get that even if you have like the blue cash every day, but, but I had the Platinum, so I was special. Anyways, um, you're also going to get Hilton and Marriott Gold status, which is super nice if you don't have it already. Uh, well, I say super nice. It's, you know, it's it's okay. It's just gold status, right? Better than nothing. And you're also going to get status with a few of the big car rental agencies. So that's some nice benefits with that. You're also going to get a lot of insurances, which is, which is nice because you can just use your card and not think about it. And if you ever get into shit, then you can refer back to your protections and be like, oh, I can get insurance or reimbursement. And it's awesome. Cell phone protection. You lose or damage your cell phone, $800 up to, it's pretty awesome. Extended warranty on your purchases. Purchase protection, if you lose something, you can get it reimbursed. Fantastic. Trip delay, cancellation, baggage gets stolen, car rental damage. Although be careful, that's only secondary coverage with the business platinum, which kind of sucks, honestly. Um, and you also get accidental insurance on your trips if you get hit by a plane. I think it's only specifically if you have an accident on the plane, which is interesting. The main credits that you're going to be able to take advantage of to reimburse your $6.95 annual fee are the $200 airline fee credit. So this one 
kind of sucks because you can only use it on incidentals like Wi-Fi purchases, I think. Actually, it might not even be Wi-Fi purchases like uh, an extra bag or food on the carrier. But you can do some research and maybe potentially fund a specific airline's travel bank and it will trigger the $200 fee credit. Uh, United we stand, USA, US, anyway, uh, you get the idea. Um, look up United Travel Bank and use that for your credit so you can liquidate it. Anyways, uh, I said the quiet part out loud. You also get $120 a year phone provider credit. So you can use that to pay for your uh, phones, uh, phone provider, whatever, and you'll get $10 a month off of your bill each month, which is fantastic. Um, so that that's pretty much a free $120 if you pay for your phone bill. So that's nice, already down to like $570 or so on the fee. And you're also gonna get $400 Dell credit, uh, $200 each half year. So come July 1st, it will refresh, which is actually fantastic because if you get this card right now, you can get the $200 Dell credit, which I'm going to be taking advantage of and then i can get it again in july but unfortunately the dell credit and two others end at the end of the year which leaves some room for speculation where this car is going to look this card is going to look long term so that is something of interest um which is going to be on the next slide anyways you also get an indeed and an adobe credit which both of them are really difficult to use if you're not specialized big business if you're just a sole proprietor like me, you can't really take advantage of this and it's not economical to use, so I would ignore these two. But maybe they work for you. $189 clear credit that lets you skip the lines at airports, which is great. Same thing with global entry and TSA pre-check, $100 worth, lets you skip some lines, which is also fantastic. And you're also gonna get a 35% rebate on flights booked with membership rewards points, I think until the end of the year also. So if your flight's $5,000, you can use like, I don't know, uh, 350,000 membership rewards points or so, and you'll get uh, reimbursed. You won't have to spend as many points uh, from how I understand it. Anyway, that's also ending soon as well. So I wanted to ask all of you, what will this card look like in 2025? Given the fact that those credits are ending in 2024, where do you think this card is going to go? Do you think there will be an annual fee increase? Do you think there will be new credits added? There's probably going to be more credits added, um, which I think I'm okay with because only the Dell one looked useful to me. But other than that, I'm not really sure where else the card is going to go. I think there will probably be an annual fee increase. I think eventually the Platinum cards are going to go to 999. I think that that would be a, a fun marketing thing for them. And there's going to be a bunch of credits and coupon books. Yay. Anyways, now let's get into referral time. Here's my referral link uh, in the description. It's not here right now, actually, because I still need to open my card and register it. It's in the description. Do me a favor, check it. If it shows the 250,000 membership rewards points link for you, great. If it doesn't, please go find it yourself and do not use my referral. Um, if you use it and get the 250,000 referral, fantastic. I'm glad. But I hope that overall this video was super useful and interesting and I hope plenty of you get the 250,000 membership rewards point offer and you sign up and you get a bunch of points and you can go on all the traveling in the world that you want to do and you'll have me to thank. I'm just kidding. <sighs> thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go to the unboxing now so you can see what this card looks like. Here is my business card. Just kidding. There's my business card. Let's open it up. I have my kitty cat here who will be assisting me. This is Baby. Baby says, open the box. Welcome to Business Platinum. It comes with terrible scotch tape. Just kidding, that's my addition because I don't want fraudulent charges on my card. Come on. More shiny than the other one. It's probably just because it's new. Oh, that sticker's on the front, but I just use it to cover my numbers and stuff. Booyah. So the next thing I noticed is 
we got this letter sticking out. I got to flip it the other way because it has my address and stuff on it. Uh, we don't want that. So we got this fun letter. Uh, what does the fun letter say? Yep. Fun letter, summary of benefits, fantastic. Blah, blah, blah. Lame. Card member agreement. Ugh, I'm bored. Oh, I paid into that. Anyway, yep, that's all that's in that envelope. Put your card to work for your business. Wow, look at that marketing. Spend money. Spend all of your money on our card. Anyways, finish setting up the card. Awesome. Cool. The packaging's fun. I like this little envelope. It's fun. Huh. Oh, what is that? Wait, what? What is this? Ugh. Did I pull this? You do not pull it. This reminds me when I got my diploma, I freaking shredded the stupid paper and my diploma. Don't ask. Anyways, that is the American Express Business Platinum. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching.